All right, guys, good morning. We ended up making it to Fairland, Oklahoma. We're at Twin Bridges State Park, I think is what it's called. Pretty nice, 25 a night for water and electric, and I think there's a dump station somewhere, but we don't need it yet. We did use the dumpster over here. Pretty nice park, though. Back in the wilderness, camping. It's nice to camp again. It's very, very, very different. It's so wet and it's so green. We're about to take off for the day. There's Candace and the baby and Annie. Chloe's up there sleeping in her in her seat or bed, like always. Let me turn this down. Yeah, so far so good, huh, Jovi? How many states we been to? Six, five now. Oh, it's so it's so humid, huh? Yeah. It's moist in the Midwest, huh? Sweaty little baby. Yeah, it's so moist. <laughs> <laughs> we was gonna do a Walmart last night, but it was just too hot. It was only 90 here, but 90 is like crazy, isn't it? Right? Yeah, I know. 90's <laughs> crazy, huh? The humidity's just something else. And Annie and Chloe's getting older too. They can't Chloe don't really care. I think Chloe likes it hot. It don't matter to her, but Annie gets to panting and stuff. She don't. <laughs> Bougie, huh? Yeah, Annie will want to go for a walk and then we won't get far. And no, I didn't mean right this minute, man. Where he went, she'll want to go and then we you don't get very far and she's ready to turn around. And that's not usually, usually, Annie will go for a while in the neighborhood back home. But she's happy to see the squirrels. Yeah. Oh, I know. Stretching means she wants out. That's Annie's way of telling you she has to potty. She says, stretch. She's been doing that for years. But yeah, we should make it to Illinois today, I think, to see our friends. And I think it's Friday, is yeah. it Friday? Yeah, so they're closed weekends, so we'll get to spend the weekend hanging out with them and visiting. Yeah. Yay. Joe, we go meet some new people again. We're gonna uh, love you, huh? <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we mentioned this. We ended up, I ended up picking up this uh, portable air conditioner, and I got it vented out the window over there because we was gonna do a mini split, but I really didn't have time to order one. It was, they was most of them that I wanted would take way too long to get there, and they had one at Home Depot, but it was a little too big to fit where I'm gonna put it, so. I thought this would be a pretty decent solution to just keep us, you know, fairly comfortable. It doesn't do a whole lot once you get into the 90s, you know, if it's 95. I mean, you can, if you stand in front of it, it'll feel great, but it's not going to cool this whole RV down. But on the days where it's, you know, around maybe 85, it does okay. You know, we've tested a little bit. Now, back in the West, it does great without the humidity. It'll, it'll keep this thing pretty, pretty decently cool. I ran it for a couple days while we was packing the RV up and it kept it pretty comfortable in here. And we thought that we could also use it maybe in the bedroom when it gets really hot back home. Yeah, if it does, if we need it, yeah. Or in an emergency, you know, if the if our AC breaks in the middle of summer in the house or if this AC breaks, you know, we still have something. But yeah, it's not very heavy. It does work pretty well. And I did a thing, it's just it's only 6,000 BTU. I did that because it only pulls about eight amps and I can run it off of solar. So yeah, we've been using it like when we stop at the rest area, instead of leaving the RV running or running the rooftop air. I can run the rooftop air off my solar and batteries for a little while. I just don't like doing it. That's a, just a huge draw. It heats everything up. And when it's already, when it's 93, 95 degrees outside and the sun's out, our inverter and batteries are already pretty warm and when you start pulling that kind of load you're pushing it so i just i don't do it this thing running you know eight amps is nothing we can sit in a rest area we ate lunch and it ran the whole time with no problem it worked huh it kept us cool didn't it mm -hmm. didn't it she likes the camera she don't <laughs> know what it is but she'll stare at it 
Maybe you yeah. should be a TV baby. Maybe we should take you to Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Annie said, I'll do it. Annie, you want to be a movie star dog? Huh? You're pretty me. smart. Pretty I think well. you could do it. I got a walker now because I said, said, yeah, <laughs> I already said it. So I'm going to walk her and we're going to get back on the road. We're going for our walk here and Annie found a turtle crossing the street. Annie, she just sniffed him a little bit. He tucked in there and she left him alone. She loves to chase the squirrels though. Man, there's squirrels everywhere. We haven't seen squirrels in a while, have we, Annie? It's been a while. We're heading out. We should make it to Sean and Jill's at Modified Sound in East Alton, Illinois today. Probably a late day because we're getting a little a bit of a late start. What time is it? 10.45. 11.45. That's not right, is it? No. It might be 10.40. I don't know. It's getting late, so we're getting out of here. Chloe's ready. She's passed out beside me. Chloe, we're leaving. Chloe. She said sure. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we've made it to Modified Auto in uh, East Holton, Illinois. See Sean and Jill. We're parked out back the shop. The front's got like a Dollar General and a bunch of stuff. It's pretty busy out there. So yeah, a little noise. People are mowing. It's that time of year in the Midwest. Good morning, everyone from Missouri. We are back in Missouri. Hannibal, we stayed. Hannibal, yeah. We've been to Hannibal before. This is where the Mark Twain Museum and all that stuff is. Mark Twain's from here. We actually went out on the Mississippi River on a on a yeah. riverboat. It was pretty cool. It's a pretty neat little town. Look at you, you little slobber face. Oh, Joey. Oh, my goodness. Thank Annie, all she does is slobber, huh? So we got about three hours to St. Joseph. So we're going to probably just head there today. And we got to get propane, and I need to dump the tanks before we park at our grandma's for a little while. So, yeah, that's the plan. Hi, Jovi. <laughs> All right, we're getting on the road. All right, this is definitely the hardest rain we've seen in a very long time. All right, guys, we have made it to St. Joseph. Man, that was a lot of driving. Holy crap. Candace is already inside visiting with her grandma and her mom and stuff. We're not gonna film a lot while we're here. It's we're, we're only here to see family and to get her storage unit. We're probably only doing about a week and we're gonna start heading back to Kingman. We have a lot more stuff planned for the summer, some camping trips, some ghost towns, just a lot of cool things that's not real far from Kingman, not near as far as driving all the way to Missouri. But since we know Jovi's fine now and everything, Candace was really nervous about just, I don't know, everything, just having a baby in a little RV and you know, it's one of the reasons we ended up buying a house. But we do love our house and it is, kind of an RV base camp too. So I'm still glad we did it, but we're gonna definitely do some really cool trips as soon as we get back to Kingman. But our main focus is to get this storage unit, visit and get back home. Like honestly, we're not gonna, our videos even getting here wasn't like they usually are. We usually stop and see some, just some stuff you know you never know i find like museums or i find you know roadside attractions anything but this time it was just a straight shot to get back here and then straight shot back we're gonna probably get home quicker than we got here so i'm gonna probably do a lot of driving 
So yeah, guys, I'm going to let Candace visit. I'm going to get the RV plugged into her grandma's house. We'll do a little mooch docking, just a little. But we'll see you guys very soon, and we'll be heading back home. And we appreciate all you guys for watching, all the awesome comments, and just everything. And we'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, good morning. We ended up making it to, where are we at? Fairland, Oklahoma. I'm gonna redo that. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I can't remember how much I got so far. All right, she just pooped herself while you said that. But she stinks.